from the Regency Center in San Francisco. It's theCUBE, covering Serverless Conf, San Francisco 2018. Brought to you by SiliconANGLE Media. Aloha, I'm Stu Miniman and you're watching theCUBE's coverage of Serverless Conf 2018 here in San Francisco. Happy to welcome to the program, first time guest, Pete Sparsky, who's the Vice President of Content at A Cloud Guru, who's the company that puts on the show. Pete, great to see you. Thank you, Stu. It's great to be here with you. Thank you so much for coming to the conference. All right, so yeah. serverless is one of these things. There's a lot of excitement around it. Uh, I'm super excited. It's our second year having the Cube here at this event. Uh, you've done these events uh, at a number of global occasions. You're actually based in Australia, so set us up. You gave, a, gave the some of the intro with Sam Cronenberg. You were the first non-Cronenberg member That's of a right. Cloud Guru. Yes. So first, give us a little yeah. bit about your background and you know what, what we hope to accomplish with a show like this. Yeah, thank you, Sue. So like you said, I'm VP of content at a Cloud Guru. I was the first employee. I remember back in 2015, at the end of 2015, early 2016 when I joined, um, it was only Sam and Ryan and myself. Um, small company, grew really quickly. Uh, but we had a passion for high quality education from the very start. Mm -hmm. So it's been incredible to see how the business has grown and how much passion there is you know, in the community for great education and for events such as this, where we try to educate um, and continue to talk about cloud computing. Yeah, uh, Pete, I, yeah. I, I love, you know, yeah. when I talk, talk to the, the Cronenberg brothers, yeah. the company, if it wasn't for serverless, I don't know that the company could have existed, definitely not in the form that it is because really yep. lowers the price point to be able to create and deliver the content, therefore the training is much less expensive. Yep. Um, I want you to talk a little bit about the dynamic of you know, cloud and serverless, because a cloud guru is not just about serverless, but it, it's a main piece of what, what, what you guys, how you deliver it, and I, I'm sure something that you know, the show and how people get involved with yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. So our entire platform, our learning management system, runs on serverless technologies. We don't have a single server anywhere. It's all Lambda driven. It's incredibly cost efficient. Um, it's very flexible, very scalable, and it's actually a fun to work, a fun project to work on for our developers. Yeah, now, really, and, and Pete, I yeah. have to say, you don't have a server anywhere, but eventually yeah. somewhere on the servers that you put, absolutely a server underneath. There is some, exactly, exactly. <laughs> You're totally right, you got me there. But at least from the perspective of our developers, you know, they are dealing in functions, they're thinking in code, they're thinking in design patterns and architectures, and that's incredibly powerful. And like you said, it has been a disruptive thing, right? Because we've been able to build our platform quickly, cost effectively, and then focus on kind of our business value, focus on creating great, high quality, curated content, right? That education piece that we focus on. Quality courses, quality content that we can use to teach people. Yeah, uh, Pete, uh, I'm, when I think about this, this is a very big mind shift for users. Because it's one thing to go from a server to a VM to a container. Yeah. Um, I'm just changing a little bit the construct, but it's the same, but the, the you know, Nirvana we've been thinking about for years is my developer and my application, I shouldn't have to worry about this, but you know, networking and compute and storage, these all things all need to work and when something goes wrong, yeah. it, it's kind of challenging. So maybe talk a little about the, the content you create yeah. and how you balance the, here's what you do and here's the organizational changes you need to make and who's involved and who isn't involved and what happens there. Absolutely, thank you for, for bringing that up because I think the mind shift is incredible. So for our team that actually works on the platform, they now can focus on delivering business values because they don't need to worry about managing infrastructure, managing service, thinking about, say, security in the same way we were thinking about security before. So still important, incredibly important, but the equation is now a little different. And this does allow us to move quicker, right? It allows us to be much more flexible because we can focus on that architecture, on the design, on the code, and not on kind of that other stuff. And it also gives us an opportunity to focus on our product, right, on that high quality education. So we focus a lot on kind of just teaching users, teaching our students what cloud computing is all about, helping them get certified, and then once they have that, learning how to build things with serverless technologies, right? It's an incredible change, and people are asking, how do I actually get started? How do I build this scalable e-commerce platform, or how do I go and do big data processing in a serverless way? So there's a lot of opportunity and we've been building kind of this content and these courses to help people understand 
how to do these things. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you yeah. brought up certifications. So, yes. I want you to talk a little bit about yes. certifications as well as you're a, I believe, a serverless hero, mm -hmm. uh, which is in AWS. It's not a certification; it's more is a designation award. Yeah, I think uh, it's this like out. So yeah, maybe maybe yeah. talk a little bit about you know. I remember 10 years ago there was discussion. Well, maybe certification should be dead. If all it is is you know you get certified on something and every year you re up, you pay some money, you have to go through training. You know how valuable it is. So. Um, Cloud certification is very different, so give us a Absolutely. little bit of landscape yeah. of certifications, how a cloud guru helps, and then uh, yeah. the, the kind of the designation well, type stuff. We have realized that certification is very important because it gives your engineering team, your company, kind of the same basis, right? It gives people the same, the same language, the same level of understanding. So moving forward, teams can move together. So certification kind of gives you that assurance, gives you the warranty that yes, everybody who's passed it, knows kind of those fundamental building blocks. So we help really, we help teams kind of understand what this is about. We help them get certified, so we have courses aimed at that. But then after they get certified, they want, need to stay up to date, right? And they need to specialize and dig deeper. They need to become adept at various technologies, whether it's DynamoDB or something else. So it's like a path, right? You get certified, you get your basic understanding, and then you specialize, you deep dive, and then you stay up to date as well, right? And then you can circle back and maybe do like a professional level of certification. And so we help to really kind of guide people through that and help them understand how to go from not from you know no experience to a professional. Yeah, but one of the challenges yeah. is all of the cloud vendors have their own certification. That's true. Is there similarity between if I'm you know, Google, yeah. Azure, AWS certified, are there any fast paths you can do if you've done one and you know, want to do the other? Uh, you know, obviously the, con the fundamental skills, uh, the conceptually, yes, absolutely. Having an understanding of one cloud environment will help with the other. But the certifications are different, right? And that's why we have different video courses that you can take if you want to become AWS certified versus Google Cloud certified. Uh, they have different focus sometimes, so it's kind of necessary to go and watch these courses, do the study, read the white papers, and have the experience as well. You need to really have hands-on experience, so you need to start building things. Although, for example, for people who are not kind of from a tech background, they can take, they can take certifications uh, like the Certified Cloud Practitioner certification from Amazon, right? It's aimed at non-technical people, and it gives them kind of that understanding of the economics of cloud, right? What the services are, without taking them deeper into the tech side of things. All right, uh, and explain what it means to be a serverless hero, which serverless I believe is in AWS. That is a great yeah. question. So, um, serverless hero is a designation. Um, it's basically, it was, it's given to people who are very active in the serverless community um, as a way to kind of say, okay, these are the people, you know, who share a lot of the community, um, and I guess as a thanks from um, Amazon. So I was initially an AWS community hero, and then they changed that to a serverless hero because I focus very much on serverless technologies. I talk, I have a book about it, so I've been really kind of focused um, on serverless tech throughout my yeah. career, over the past three years. Yeah, well, we're, we're huge proponents of community here on theCUBE, and you know, yeah. lo love what you're doing at the event here. Talk about the, the, the serverless community yeah. itself, because it's not just AWS, it's across lots of different Absolutely. environments. Yeah. Um, and you know, I, I think back to like Microsoft yeah, MVP yeah. or VMware yeah. V Experts. It's yeah. uh, you know, so t t tell us the state of the community. Yeah, I'll be honest. Yeah. The community is my favorite part by far. Uh, honestly, we have incredible people in the community across different cloud providers. You know, we have people who are you know experts in AWS, Google, Azure, all kinds of different platforms, just coming together, talking. Like this conference is a testament to it because we have speakers who are just starting with serverless, people who've been doing it for a few years, across different vendors, cloud providers, startups as well, huge enterprises, and it's incredible to see a conference like this that brings everybody together. And it's very collaborative, it's very welcoming, and honestly, we run it for this, we run it for the community. All right, yeah. well, Pete, right. thanks so much for helping yeah. me kick off yeah. uh, our coverage here yeah. at, at serverless.com. Yeah. Uh, thanks so much for joining Pete Sparsky, I'm Stu Miniman, yeah. and mahalo for watching theCUBE.